As you spend less and less time outside, you can end up with a few issues. Exercise gets cut down, you get all introverted and never want to leave, and if you're the kind of person who tells stories, they kind of stop happening. I mean, outdoor experiences are the stories. How do those happen when you're an introvert like me? But you'd actually be surprised as to how much can happen to you, even indoors. Don't get me wrong, I do go outside and enjoy myself. I go to work and enjoy my recreational time, as you'll see in one of these stories, but most of these happen recently in the comfort of my own home. So I have in the past told stories about my brother. I've talked about how impulsive he is mostly, but one of the more notable things about him that I've talked about at least is his name. See, when he and I were really young, I nicknamed him Dev. Now, I've told that story a while ago, but the repercussions from that is a whole new tale. It was about a week after I made that video, a YouTuber named Dev tweets at me. The tweet went as follows. This is getting ridiculous. This poor guy was getting tweet after tweet, comment after comment asking if he was the brother of Bullet Berry. Now, this guy makes PC gaming hardware videos. He has an astounding voice, and he has the same name as the nickname I gave my brother. I mean, he was kind of asking for it. <laughs> I apologized to him and hoped that it died down, but the other day I sent a tweet out to him. Hey bro, been a while, how are ya? He replies, I'm learning I need to check Twitter more often. I'm doing hella well bro, how about you? I'm good. Just wanted to make sure my viewers weren't still harassing you. This is when I got the best reply I could have ever expected. I mean, some of them just don't even try anymore. <laughs> Poor guy. Now, the other day I actually had a conversation with him and I learned some very interesting things. Personality-wise, Dev and I are very similar. He makes PC gaming style videos, so do I. The guy has a great voice, I've been told the same. Now, that's a little strange, but this is when it gets weird. The guy is 20 years old and his name is Dev. My brother is 20 years old and I've called him Dev since I was 8. This guy is literally my internet brother. And it was so weird talking to him because of how like-minded we are. Don't take my word for it, please. Go check him out. I'll put a link in the description. Tell him his older brother Barry sent you. So for the past month or two, I've been streaming. I generally stream on Twitch every Saturday, and if you remember Falcon Tales, I'm known to say some pretty strange things by accident. Well, I was in a game of Call of Duty World at War Zombies. We had a modded map up, and I had to go into the settings menu to change some things. The game is a bit of a mess, but I went in to change crouch, throw grenades, special grenade, aim down sights, Again, the game's a bit ridiculous when it comes to the settings. But I save my changes, I exit the game, and now something just doesn't feel right. You know when you take your hand off the keyboard for a second, you don't look and you put your hands back on, your character just wigs out because you're not actually touching any of the move buttons? Well, it felt like that, but I did have my hands on the move buttons. But my character just wouldn't move correctly. Eventually, I figured it out. My character wasn't moving to the right. And for some reason, when I had this epiphany, I screamed out, Guys! Oh my god, my D isn't working! I must have unassigned my D because I can't move to the right. It was only at that point that I realized exactly what it was I had just said and started dying. The chat was filled with, Save Barry's D! My D isn't working! Save the D! <sighs> yeah, that's something I'll never hear the end of. This next one is a real world happenstance. See, I go outside. So, my friend was hosting a party for her birthday. At the time, I thought the party was for her child. I used to work with this girl at Walmart, and at that time, she was pregnant. I left Walmart before she had the child, and I never really got to say hello to the little bundle. So I got invited. The party was supposed to happen Friday the 10th. Well, Friday rolls around, and I text up my friend. Hey, Miranda, should I bring anything? And how long are we staying? Oh, hey, yeah, you can bring drinks if you want to. But we have pizza and soda, and the party would be all night. Now, this confused me. See... To me, the party was for a child, which was my fault because the invitation said 21st birthday party, so I'm dumb. Regardless of my confusion, I told her I was on my way. Now, a few seconds ago, I said I was dumb. Well, I'm really, really dumb. See, it was Friday, but the party was Friday the 10th, and on that particular day, it was only the 3rd. I drove all the way to her friend's house, where the party was being held, knocked on the door, only to have this tattooed up, piercings all over the place dude, tell me that the party wasn't until the next week. I looked down at my phone, and Miranda had tried 8 times to call me and tell me that I was an idiot. I gave her a call, and she's laughing. Barry, you actually went over there? Oh, yeah, real funny, Miranda. It's not like this is a dangerous part of town or nothing. I get back in my car and I wait another week. But that's not the best part. So the next week rolls around and my friends Alec and Natasha come over. I told them that I had a party to go to and they asked if it was okay if they came. I asked Miranda and she said it would be fine. Now again, in my head, I was going to a party for a child. 
I drove across town with Alec and Natasha, and we got to the house. This... Uh, okay, this part is going to be difficult because Miranda and her boyfriend actually watch my story videos, but imagine the most brainless, not really attractive at all blonde girl opens the door, sits there for three seconds saying nothing, just stares at us with a blank expression for far too long until I said, I'm here for the party? Instantly, she cocks her head to the side, smiles, does this little hip jump thing and screams, okay. Now, I don't like people that much. I mean, I do, but not like that. And I almost wanted to leave because of her. Whatever, the party will still be fun, right? I walk in and instantly we get hit with a cloud of smoke. There are weed clouds filling the room. Now let me try to describe this. There are about eight people in this room. Three girls and five guys just sitting there smoking. Not a single one of them are my friends. To make the situation any more ridiculous, they're just sitting there watching cops on TV. Now. I don't have an issue with marijuana, but sitting in a room smoking weed has to be the saddest thing you can possibly do with it. Whatever, no big. I look over to the blonde who let us in and asked, where's Miranda? All of a sudden I hear Miranda scream, Barry, from the back room. She comes out of nowhere and greets me and my friends. Where's your child? I asked. Oh, she's at her grandmother's. I wouldn't bring her here. My mind is spinning right now. I thought I was going to a party for a kid. I'm around a group of strangers that are baked out of their minds. I drag my poor friends into this situation and Alec texts me instantly. How long did you want to stay? I didn't know what to do. Miranda knows I'm not a smoker nor a drinker. Now I do have to say that this was my fault. I could have easily read the Facebook invitation because it did say 21st birthday party. But for whatever reason, I thought differently. I text Alec back. Let's just see how this goes. Play it by ear. At least there's pizza. I walk over and grab a slice and Miranda walks up to me with this mysterious drink and hands it to me. What's in this? I ask. Stuff. Stuff? I set it down and someone screams out, let's play beer pong. Miranda sighs and says back, no, I don't want to do beer pong. It takes too long to set up. Come on, Miranda, let's set it up. Ugh. Okay, fine. Let me get the drill. Drill? What the hell is going on here? They start taking the door off the hinges to use it as their beer pong table. Now, look, I would never shame someone over their financial situation, and Miranda seems happy. Maybe I am a party pooper, but that was too far. I get on my phone and go outside. I walk back in and told everyone that my father got into a fight with his brother at Costco and needed me to go pick him up. You know when you tell a lie to a friend you actually do really respect and care about, but you lie for the greater good? I mean, I subjected my friends to this unexpected situation. I blindsided myself, and everyone there was acting like the blonde from before. All night, Miranda was texting me, asking me if I was okay, and if my father was okay, and I had to make up a story, but I just couldn't stay. The advice isn't going to be good this time, but if you're ever put into an awkward situation, and you don't know what to do, lie. And don't ever give up on that lie. Makes for a great story later. Also, I'm a bad person. Deal with it. Okay, so I'm going to do these in the order that the uh, file names should appear alphabetically in Windows. So um, we'll start off slow with Moose Jr. saying, How about you fuck off, you cheeky cunt? I'll do as I please, yeah? I promise I'll never do that again. Um, next one is <laughs> from Sharshita Rules, I think. We said, you dupe fool, you are idiot. <laughs> and I don't know why, but I screenshot these because I, I get notifications for all the comments and these just like make me laugh throughout the day. Um, <laughs> next one from Greg AJ, who just politely said, son, go fuck yourself. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I really don't want to say the next one from Ryan. I'm not even trying that. <laughs> Who said, I'm gonna pee in you, man. Fuck off. <laughs> well, Mary, why did you make me do this? This is terrible. <laughs> um, next one's from Flexible Matthew, who said, Do a review wearing only a bike and number 10 jock strap. <laughs> And normally that's not funny, but I literally just watched Bo uh, Borat last night. So um, the next one is from Zynvid, who asked if this is Keemstar's gay brother. God. And uh, the last one is Nightsaber, who commented on the TV review saying, do you think they would put Pornhub on it? I'm not even reading that last one. You can put it on the screen, but I'm not fucking reading that shit. Have fun.
So I was going to go through and read all of these one by one, um, but they're all pretty much the same, just asking me if I'm Bullitberry's brother or not, except one, Skiff Dishy at the top right there, who just knows it for a fact. I like to imagine him like he's in a room with a bunch of other Bullitberry fans, and he's just like, Hey everyone, it's Bullitberry's brother! <laughs> I got a new soundboard and I like playing with it, sorry.